I wanted to make a video about films because um, despite me and Abby knowing each other for 17 years, 17 years, yes, wow, that's a long time, um, we've only seen one film together and that would be, if I can find it, it would, <laughs> it would be Bad Teacher, yeah we went to see Bad Teacher in the cinema last year, me and my ex and Abby. Right, um, I don't know if Abby actually liked the film, but I didn't at the time. But now I've got on DVD, I've watched it a couple of times. I actually like it. Except I must add the bit where Justin Timberlake comes in his pants. Yeah. If my boyfriend was dry humping me and came in his pants, I don't think I'd like that at all. So anyway, that's one of the films I like. Um, thought I'd go through some of them. I brought up quite a lot of DVDs, but I think I'll just go through my favourites. Um bridesmaids because it's like the ultimate girly film it's absolutely so funny i love um, this girl here um her don't know her name um i'll find out her name uh but she's absolutely hilarious in it um and i mainly like it because i'd love to be a bridesmaid um magic mike basically the only reason i like this film is because it's about strippers that's about it the Inbetweeners movie because it's absolutely hilarious. I love The Inbetweeners and actually tonight The Inbetweeners USA is starting to air in the UK. So I'm going to watch that on when? Probably tomorrow. Um, I want to see if it's good or not but I don't think anything or anyone can beat The Inbetweeners. That is my absolute complete and utter favourite film of all time. Meet the Parents and Meet the Fockers because probably meeting your girlfriend or boyfriend's parents is the most scariest thing ever. Remember meeting my boyfriend's parents. Scary as anything, but I think it's more scary if you're the guy meeting your girlfriend's father and that's what Meet the Parents is about. Because everyone says it's intimidating. I remember my boyfriend being scared of my dad and my dad's the most unscariest person in the world. Um but he was scared um so Meet the Parents and Meet the Fockers. Brilliant films. Due date. I saw it on my 19th birthday. This guy, what's his name? Zach G Gal Fickens? Um, don't know how to pronounce his name. This is his name. Um, yeah, he's absolutely hilarious. He's in The Hangover and the campaign um, to uh, absolutely brilliant actor. Brilliant. I heard he's a comedian as well. Anyway, I've never seen him as a comedian. I've only seen him as an actor. But due date, you have to watch this film. Abby, I think you'd find this film hilarious. Borrow it from me or watch it. Saying borrow it from me and there's no disc in the box. Need to find that disc. Ah, uh, obviously The Hangover because it's just brilliant. Um, yeah, come on, guys on a stag do that goes wrong. What can be more funny than that? Um, I love The Hangover part one as well. This is part two. And Abby, I've been telling you to watch The Hangover. Have you watched it yet? Have you watched it? Come on, you need to watch it. Knocked up, mainly because that's my worst fear to be knocked up. And if I was knocked up by a guy like this, I think I'd be more scared. But I think the best line in this film is, I've sacrificed everything, my work, my body, my vagina. And then he goes, have you sacrificed your vagina? And she goes, it'll never look the same again. Best line ever. The Bounty Hunter because it's got Jennifer Aniston in it. I love Jennifer Aniston. And it's about this guy who has to hunt her down because she skips bail. And it's and he's her ex-husband. It's really, really good. Horrible Bosses, because again, it's got Jennifer Aniston in it. And it's got the three worst bosses ever, the Psycho, the Nympho, and the Tool. And Jennifer Aniston plays a uh, kind of sexy dentist so what more do you want in a film Abby you have to watch this film my favourite film of the year you have to watch it it is about a teddy bear who takes drugs what more do you want in a film and saying it borrow from me <laughs> no disc in the box okay that was just dumb 